Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Profit Roadmap Podcast. We are the premier podcast for the field service industry, and we are recording live from our annual Service Edge Conference. So this is a special podcast recording, and I have a special guest with me that's standing in for Ryan. It's uh, Bear Plessy. Thank you, my co-host. Uh, it's great to be here. Uh, like I said before, this is this is a very special opportunity, and you know, hats off to, to Ryan for letting me uh, actually uh, fill his seat. Those are big shoes. Uh, and I'm so excited to be here uh, with you, Becca. And then, we, you know, we've had some great conversations so far. Uh, and we're going to sit down and have another one. And I'm really excited to introduce, we have the Kendall brothers, Wes and AJ here from Omaha Lawn Solutions. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? Doing great. How are you doing? Absolutely fantastic. Welcome in. And I am doing fantastic as well. I'm very excited for this. So this is, this is a, Wes, you were telling me this is your first Service Edge conference, right? Yes, this is the first time we've been here. Oh, wow. Well, well, welcome. A big welcome, yeah. Oh, yeah. First time in Texas? Uh, you know, I've, we've been to the airport in Texas. Never got out of the <laughs> airport, though, so this is the first time we've been in the city. <laughs> Great. How are you liking it so far? Oh, it's beautiful. Awesome. We love the trees here the way that, uh, you know, we work from Omaha, Nebraska, so right now all our trees are red, a lot of them are bare, you know, stuff like that, so... <laughs> These are these are. It's interesting to see the difference here. Awesome. What's uh? What's your favorite thing about? Are you guys you guys born and raised in Omaha, like yeah. Nebraska and everything? Oh, yeah. So like, what's what's your favorite thing about Nebraska? I'm always I always like to ask that question about the state, not necessarily the city. I think you have Nebraska Furniture Mart when you say Nebraska, but I know is that is that a thing? Is that a <laughs> oh, Nebraska, Nebraska Furniture Mart's always a good time. I'll okay. Tell you that. All right. So, <laughs> Is you it know, better than Ikea? Because I, 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 I lose myself in Ikea. I've never been to Ikea, so okay. I have no idea. But it's I'll tell be you what, Ikea. it has to be. You'll lose yourself in there, too. So okay. It's pretty big. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, what's your favorite thing about Nebraska? Uh, so, honestly, my favorite thing, just off the top of my head thinking about it, it is the massive growth that we get down there in the Midwest. I just... I love the way everything grows. It's it's beautiful, you know. I'm one of the type of people that I really like mountains. We don't have that there, so it's the nature and the growth that really oh, okay. gets me. Nice. I would say I think it's a uh, the the people We're home of five Fortune 500 companies. I, I think, and so there's a lot of money, and I, I even believe that I, I looked up uh, that per capita, it's actually the highest concentration of wealth. So yeah, there's true. actually a ton of money in Omaha, Nebraska that nobody would ever know. And so there's a lot of opportunity in Omaha for, for service type businesses and yeah. just a lot of cash flow. I have, I have a lot of useless knowledge in my head. Becca knows this from working with me for years. So I actually knew that statistic, surprisingly. Yeah. Uh, Wes, you and I were actually talking about before we kind of sat down a little bit. And you and AJ have kind of really uh, sat down this year. And you've had a long history with Service Autopilot, using it as a software, a long history with the business. And you were kind of doing the status quo, and then you kind of started going into different mindsets. And then this year, it seems to be a mind uh, mindset of discipline, yep. uh, is what you were saying. So why don't you walk us through that? So this year has been a it's, – it's discipline and personal growth. Um, they, and honestly, a lot of it comes from – uh, AJ doing, you know, he's been kind of doing his own thing, coaching and focusing a lot on personal growth. And, you know, one day me and him just talked uh, about uh, getting in the gym and working out a lot more and kind of focusing on that, which in the past, you know, for, for me and him, it's been all business, you know, life, the life and work balance has been basically work and then you sleep. And so we're trying to get more of that life balance in there and trying to perfect, uh, that self-discipline on that end, sure. and to be honest, it, it makes it so much easier to run the business, uh, adversities that come up, things like that. It's The stress is a lot better to deal with when you're on that growth stage of uh, personal growth. And I'd, 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 add, I'd add to that by like the, the exercising and the dieting and actually putting the care on those things. It makes you just... Uh, the developmental like personally stronger like, like vibrating at a, at a higher frequency so that way when then when the problems come in because they're just always going to come in with any service-based business really any business yeah any business a lot yeah. of the service-based business is, is, is very hard and, and tons of challenges that come and when you're vibrating in a high state you're proud that you woke up early you hit the gym you're proud of who you are you're able to stand in the face of that adversity and actually be able to get through it and, and even just have a more positive mindset about getting through it. You believe in yourself that you can do it. And I think that's kind of the critical thing is having that there 
because when once if you don't have that belief or or if you um, are not elevated at that higher frequency, when those problems come, they're going to just beat you down, and and then it starts to lead to that self talk that just continues to spiral downward. And that's kind of like where people start to lose it. They'll make bad choices. They'll, they'll take it out on a customer. They'll take it out on an employee. The culture gets all too much friction with the culture. And, and so, yeah, I think that the mindset was, was a big part. And then just having that discipline. It's like, hey, we cannot miss the gym. We cannot miss our macros with our dieting. we got to be at this high level because we need to become new people that are able to actually grow an organization to the level that we're trying to go to. Well, and what I've noticed with that is when you when you focus on those things, uh, like I said, the work has always been so important, but the life side, the life aspect hasn't been as important to me. When I started focusing more on the life aspect, the work aspect became easier to work. I was, was going to read your mind there. Yeah. It's got to be easy. It really, really. I mean, it, when it, as far as anxiety or, you know, depression, things that come up through the day that build and build and build. I think in that, um, you know, that physical release in the morning and also having that discipline to be there, then I start my day off way better and I, I'm able to get through my day without dealing with as much adversity as normal. So It's so interesting that you mentioned that because in our previous podcast, we're talking about mental health yeah. and taking care of your mind. And so I like how you're talking about to take care of your body, take care Definitely. of your mind. And so was there a specific trigger point where you were like, this is why we're going to focus on this issue, discipline, personal growth, why? I'll let him talk. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I mean, I've been like, you know, always, you know, regretful of not being more fit, more like paying attention to my health, you know, like me and Wes, like he said earlier, we would do anything for the business. Like we would put our families aside. We would, we would miss anything. 30. 32 hours straight. So, we would, we would know, work crazy know. hours. And I know that I know so many people can relate to this because it's almost like you have to, you have to like experience that, have that problem and then start to figure out what is, what is going to be my solution to get over this problem. And, it, and so that's, you know, obviously paying attention to that. And then, um, you know, uh, following a lot of people, different people on, on YouTube and, and, you know, there's a specific person that they kind of triggered me into taking more being more accountable to my actual health and mental health too and uh and then we got started with like a, a watson fit um, program and then i just basically i got Wes involved i was like this for some reason this person is calling me out and i feel like i have to do it like it, it was a, it was like only was hanging call. who is the person yeah. Wes Wes watson oh Wes so, watson okay yeah yeah so shout out to Wes watson <laughs> not well, that he's paying attention to this but i mean honestly it was it was it was one day me and aj got to talk and you know and we're, we constantly talk about business i mean that's pretty much all we talked about and one day you know aj just kind of said like hey hey we should get back into the gym and, and try to get our lives right and it just really clicked. I remember saying, like, it didn't even, I, I, Wes would say, hey, we got to get this done, this done, like all these things, it's like basically impossible. And I go, you know what? The number one thing that I care about right now is, is going to the gym and then doing those things. And, and it's like a mind shift. It's like a mind shift that has to take place. Like you have to value that personal development over everything else. And I feel like I just, I knew that something had to change because it's like, we're just going to burn out. Like, this is not going to go anywhere. We're just going to burn out. And well, and for me, it was uh, obviously AJ helped spark that. But I always heard David Goggins' words in my in my head, where it's like, if you start out your day with the hardest thing that you can do, the rest of the day is easy. And that is, I mean, every day is that. You know, when you go and you get that energy out, then the rest of the day goes awesome. And it's and, and so we've been actually like not missing the gym and, and, and both dialed in on our macronutrients for about three months now. And it's been a complete like mind shift. And now I'm like getting into coaching. I'm like getting into different well, things in my life. Now. I think that is the reason that we're here was that, yes. that focus it's, it's on, actually the reason we're on here. being better. Because I, I know myself in the past, I'd be like, no, no, that costs too much money. We can't do that. It's going to be time, all those things. And now I'm starting to get into that mindset where I'm like, hey, putting this time in and doing things like this is how we grow as a business. And, and we, we have become to become successful. these these new individuals. Yeah. In order to successfully run a, a multi-million dollar company, we have to develop ourselves to be that leader. And so that's, 
we finally pulled the trigger and said we got to get down there. It just doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. We have to do it. It's, and by the way, we're having a great time. This awesome guy. Good. Yeah. Glad. <laughs> Would you say for like other small businesses that are listening, or like any, or in the service industry, like this is it's important to invest in yourself like this, like the discipline. One hundred percent. I actually would say that you are only going to hit a certain level, and it's going to be a lower level. You're not going to hit your potential if you yeah. don't invest into yourself. Well, I think that's a really big takeaway. In this industry, industry it's very easy to um, kind of like what they were saying in there. Go into autopilot and just stay in autopilot and it goes along with kind of what he was saying where you got to get yourself out of that autopilot to to make the changes you need and that's kind of what we did we got ourselves out of autopilot you know and we're focusing more on the higher side of the business versus um to serve it you know just doing the work ourselves which that's what we've moved out of a lot so has it had any impact on your relationships i'm curious like how like um has this journey like made uh, other people in your life notice the change like I wouldn't get better too or Absolutely. you know as far as respect goes I I mean honestly when you talk to people and you're in this new mind state where like basically you're you're always going to do what's necessary you get a, you command a lot of respect that, and that, that goes back to that and, discipline where yeah. it doesn't matter how you feel you know it needs done and you're going to do it and it's it's so important that you follow up with what needs to be done and you're, and you're not coming up with an excuse of, I don't feel good, or I or this, or that. Well, I mean, we all come up with excuses. Especially with our employees, you know, because they, I mean, obviously to us, they might be sick when they called in. But it also could have been an excuse, and maybe they just didn't want to work that day. And that's the difference. It's like I'm telling myself in my head now, there are no excuses. And I, I want everyone around me that, you know, works with us to be that way too because when you give yourself those excuses you just get more anxiety in the end anyway it's kind of like extreme accountability it's extreme accountability and it, it makes you a very mentally stable person when you have that where you feel like you have control now where it's like if you are so accountable you 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 know everything in your life is the way it is because of you and your choices you're not a victim ever you know and it's just like you actually have power there's like you, you, you command a power that allows you to start to unlock potential that wasn't there before it takes away a lot of fear too there's a lot of fear when you're uncertain and i don't know what it is about that's anxiety fear of what is going to come yep and when you uh i don't know when you're aligned you know what's going to come well you don't but you just you're confident in what will come that's what it is you're you're so confident you think you know i guess you built the discipline a lot of time it works to to do it you know you have that discipline well, it's just like when those things come in against you. Wes, you and I were talking before we sat down, and I thought one of the things that kind of got my ears perking up was about employees specifically, mm-hmm. and how, like you said, that you're, you guys are pushing this onto your team as well now too, because like something else would happen in the like very beginning of the day, and it would just create this snowball effect yeah. that, of negativity and and un- unproductiveness. It's not a word, but I'm going to use it. But it just it just went south so quick and, and if you what you were saying earlier do the hardest thing first yeah. get it out of the way it makes the day so much easier oh so, yeah well and that's honestly even with the employees that you know when they're out there in the field I like to put the hardest things first so that way the rest of their day is a close and sometimes they don't like it I'll admit <laughs> but I'm telling you it's way better if you, if you do, do the hard the things way, first. Like you don't want to do the hard things last. At the end of the day, right? Trust me. They get they, what happens is they just people that are like, oh, "I'm going to go to the gym after work." They have half-ass yeah, workouts, yeah. How often? And then they have half-ass happen? results, and then they have a half-ass life, yeah. and then it's basically like, "Why am I not as far as you know, Sally or whoever that they're comparing themselves to?" And a lot of regrets. They'll be there even if you're unaware of them. And so that's kind of what he was saying, where it's like, yeah, you, you you might miss those things that you have to do, and you might think it doesn't matter, but it does. They're going to eat at you. They're yeah. going to eat at you at your conscious, and then they're going to make you feel bad, and that's where, like, the whole depression spiral starts to, you're starting to, that self-talk, that negative self-talk of, oh, I didn't do this, and I should have done it, and then I'm, you know, you start that negative self-talk. But if you did it, and then you go to sleep proud that you did it, well, there it's is. a whole new wavelength. Yeah, there's just no room start, for the negative. <laughs> well, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the opportunity to sit down and uh, tell us a little bit about 
know, where 2023 and into 2024 is going to take your business. Omaha Lawn Solutions, where uh, where can we find, you know, people who are wanting to yeah. scope your stuff yeah, out yeah. your coaching? I mean, where, where can people find So you? I just started my new coaching channel. It's AJ Kendall Coaching, and that's on Instagram. And then um, we have our also our Instagram uh, for our company at yep. Omaha Lawnscaping Solutions. And also, um, you know, for anyone that's in the Omaha, Nebraska area, uh, you can always check uh, OLS at gmail.com. It'll pop up on there or Omaha Lawn, Lawnscaping will pop up too. So oh, terrific. Terrific. Well, thank you so, guys so much. Yeah, this was great awesome. to, to be able to sit down and, and speak and, and talk and have this quick discussion. That was awesome. Absolutely. Well, thank you. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy the conference and yeah. just get as much as you can out of this. And... Oh, yeah, it's only day one. We yeah. Got oh, yeah. You've got, you've got some, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm already <laughs> elevated just from sitting and having a quick conversation like that. I'm already yeah. like, yeah. My, it, it I can was feel really the energy fun. rising. So, Amazing. fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. And for our listeners tuning in, thank you for uh, always being the greatest listeners. <laughs> and if you want to hear or get the show notes of everything that we discussed in today's show, visit our website at serviceautopilot.com forward slash profit. Uh, yeah, forward slash profit roadmap. And uh, you can email us at profitroadmap at explore technologies.com.